is what the color that we're going to paint the canter. Um, I've already got some painted with uh, spray paint. I thought I'd get some of this. You know, once I've painted it, I can always do a bit of touching up. But I thought I'd just spray a little bit on the canter to see what it was like. Uh, I am going to have to sand it off because I didn't do any prep work. But this stuff is meant to be quite good. Um, Hammerite direct to rust metal paint. Um, specially formulated to perform as primer, undercoat and top coat in one. So a couple of coats of this stuff and we're good. And it is good paint. I do like this paint. It is awesome paint. Um, but uh, and I also got some of these little fellas which is uh, basically uh, a little grommet with a threaded piece in and you put them in and then they squidge up tight and then you can sort of put a bolt in and you don't have to hold the nut on the other end. Um, you will soon see on what I've been up to all day. As you can see we've got the wiring harness back out. We've still got to put that back in so we don't lose it. The little grommet piece. Um, a little bit of a test and I thought you know if you're going to do a proper test I, it was a bit windy so I it, sort of. yeah. um, so that's the color it's going to be nice red and it sort of stands out from a distance too so um, obviously I'm thinking about painting it with a roller instead of painting it with a um, watch we'll call it so I've been hard at it today um, and you tripped over a WD-40 can so I've washed all underneath um, and let it all dry. I'm going to get a wire brush and just go over these really rusty parts. I know that the paint says can apply direct to rust, but I don't think it means flaky rust. So we'll give it a bit of a sand and then paint over it. I don't want to really sand any of this black stuff off because it's like a, a tar based stone chip. So I'm just going to paint over it, but we're going to do black underneath um, and also going to paint uh, probably this bit black right along to here, all that black underneath, um, just due to the fact that it'd be easier. My pressure washing kind of this off, so it does mean I have to do it by hand. It also does mean I'm going to have to take all this off, paint it black, and then find a way of latching this down overnight. My theory is strap onto here, strap onto there, and then same on the other side, um, and strap it down. Anyway, in here. I have the throttle fit system fixed. That sort of hits the, the bottom there, but it is just about sort of um, at its point of uh, going in. So instead of doing any mad modifications here, I'm literally just going to get a hammer and see if I can bend this and pal it down, hammer it down. Um, for the heater box, uh, for the brake system, that um, was connected to the throttle, and for the clutch, where we all knew that went in, and I also put this bit in. I went to go, I put the heater box in, in fact I'll show you a heater box in. Sadly it's in the wrong place. I cut out a cardboard template to where I needed the holes marked and done. The only thing is, is I marked the wrong hole. I went off that hole as my point of reference and I should have went off that hole right there. So I am that much out. Um, so my job is to disconnect all this and the reason being is how I know I'm that much out is because this bit that goes onto here like so um, is out that much which is roughly the same distance that it's out on um, that hole so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and work out on exactly where it needs to go. So that's my plan right now. I
I have to admit, I was not looking forward to this project in any ways or means because it's one of those sort of projects where I thought I'd fuck up because I'm used to working on like the old tractors and things like that. But you know, in all fairness, it's not been so far too bad. I've had to modify a few things by all means. We've modified obviously the heater box is the main one. Um, the throttle, um, I thought I had to drill a hole in it and I marked it all out on the other one, got it all ready, come up to this one and turned out there was actually a hole there ready for it so so that's the heater thing all fit. I really do think that should be a snugger fit than that though but hey I don't know. Um, I've got to take all this apart and try and get a hoover or something in there to try and get the glass out. So that is another pain in the ass thing I've got to do. But guess what? It's in there. It's not in there very good because I need the top dash piece to go in to sort of hold it all in place. Um, but it's in there. So the next plan. Is this throttle button, foot pedal thing? And yes, I've got to sort out that hole and file it all up and get it all sorted. Do I sort that out or do I not? This is the million dollar question, and I'll try and set these up so you can see. I'm not working very well at the second. So, there you go, right, so, we've probably got, really, I swear, I only put them on the finger tape. So, like this, goes down to there. In there, it probably lifts up, oh, probably about two mil. I don't even think I'm going to worry about it because I think it's more going to be cause more problems than it is anything else. So hopefully tomorrow night, because I'm working somewhere else tomorrow, is work out, put the dash in, make sure that fits in. Um, and I think that was about the major modification I had to do. Just sit the fuse piece in place, make sure all the bolt holes are in for the fuse board up for that end, and we'll be good. These line up absolutely perfectly. So yeah, this I might have to file a little bit out of the top up there. I don't know if you can see. There you go. So it's a bit close up there. Um, so I have to file a little bit out up there. Let's level that up a bit. Um, I'd like to black these holes off. Um, I also would like to make a bung to go in there. I can get the hose onto that one easy enough. Um, to pop down there was a little rubber hose that just sort of hung down just to I guess drain any moisture or anything out and I think that was about it really um, I think it was pretty good um, she looks good on this side so we just got to make sure that we've got to place to bolt the heater box uh, the fuse board next um, that's the next must and that's got to be the case of bringing the whole wire and harness in just to set it up um, just to see if it fits in. But first of all we'll put the top dash piece in, um, put the ankle pieces on there, put all the top dash piece in. All this is only going in finger tight and once we get it all worked out we'll give this inside another pressure washer and a good clean, paint all the inside, the outside I'm not too worried about at the moment because if I have to I can then use it and paint the outside as a, another bit of a project. But that's Monday's job done. Tuesday's evening's job because I'm working tomorrow and pulling, well, we've done a, a chimney job, pulled down a chimney, now we've got to go back, now the builders have been in and done one of the rooms out, we've now got to go in and finish the job that we started um, by digging out the chimney at the bottom, which I think is going to turn out to be a bigger job because the carpenters, when they originally done it, only put 
plywood, uh, plasterboard, sorry, um, underneath the where the stove used to be. So all the old soot that was in the chimney oozed down, has gone on to it, and as you can imagine. So yeah, into their nice new kitchen. Um, so they called in good old father and son to come and sort it all out. Always unplug everything at night time, um, just in case, you know, something might fail. And uh, this door shut so beautifully. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to let me know what you think about certain little things I commented on there. Do I sort the throttle piece out or do I leave it? Um, personally, I think I'm going to leave it. But unless you think I should consider it, the floor mat is not very thick. It's only a couple mil, so I don't think it's going to make that much difference. And how often do you put your foot to the floor? So we will catch you in the next one. As you can see, 6, 6, 10 still hasn't gone because I haven't taken it away yet. So catch you later.